Today marks six months since wildfires across Maui killed 100 people, destroyed homes, and decimated a cherished town. Valley Isle residents are still grieving the extensive loss and grappling with how to get back onto their feet. Our Maui Bureau Chief Ali Dukalo, he has been covering the tragedy from the beginning and has updates from government officials. August 8th, 2023. A horrific day engraved in the minds of Maui's people as the recovery from one of the deadliest fires in U.S. history continues. State, federal and county officials meeting here at the University of Hawaii Maui College Thursday to discuss recovery updates. Some even mentioning policies in place to prevent bad actors from jeopardizing the efforts to house thousands of Maui fire survivors who are still waiting for long-term homes. I think what's sad are all the people and the predators that come and take advantage. Six months later, the pain of loss in Lahaina lingers. Residents still reeling from losing homes, some grieving the lives of loved ones lost to the blaze. Amid all of the adversity, county officials decrying outsiders who have been reportedly trying to buy fire-damaged properties from those displaced. The move now illegal under state emergency law, punishable by up to a year in prison and a $5,000 fine for each offense. County leaders also developing land trusts to deter residents from selling. Government leaders Thursday detailing their progress in housing survivors. Without a doubt, uh, there is a ton more work to do. There are still more than 2,000 survivors staying in hotels short term. The goal is to relocate at least half of them to long-term lodging by next month and the rest by summer. Officials are also trying to secure 500 more short-term vacation rentals to convert for survivors, though they predicted they will not need to roll out a moratorium on short-term rentals to obtain more. As I said from the beginning, that this is going to be a long recovery, but we will be here every step of the way. County officials hosting a community gathering in Lahaina Thursday evening to promote fellowship and support. Organizers have announced this is not a media event, so we decided not to attend out of respect for those who lost so much. From Maui, Aali Iduklo Island News.